Hello and welcome back to Saxon TV. It's your host, Sydney and Elliot. Devastating news. The district teachers and staff are bringing to account the injuries that they have received from students within the district's various schools. They have compared the DART scores from these schools to count the incidents that led to time away. In 2021, the Oregon rate for all schools was 2.2. Nationwide, it was 1.4. Over a several month long examination, OSHA found five serious violations and a dozen less serious ones. The state won't penalize the district because the review was voluntary. The district will have to provide documented proof that these violations have been fixed. OSHA has recommended that the district train teachers more and ensure teachers and staff document all high behavioral issues. It's time to take a look at weather. Here's Zach with the forecast. Hello, I'm Zachary Barnett and your weatherman. I hope you brought a sweatshirt because it's going to be very cold today. And there is a 90% chance it's already raining. And on Friday, we will have a high of 47 and a low of 44. On Saturday, the day of the snowball, I hope you bring an umbrella too, uh, it will be a high of 49 and a low of 44. Sunday, there will be a high of 53 and a low of 47. And Monday, the start of the week again, pray for you all, a high of 44 and a low of 48. I'm out. Saxon Saxon. Back to you guys. Thanks, Zach. Make sure to come watch and support Sound of Music at South Salem in the Rose Auditorium tonight at 7 p.m and tomorrow at 7 p.m. and December 2nd at 7 p.m. and December 3rd at 2 p.m. Make sure to purchase your tickets at saxondrama.ludus.com. A message from the superintendent of Salem Kaiser said that this December, they will have to reduce hundreds of dollars to reduce their spending habits, including staff. You might have heard about the fentanyl epidemic that's been going on in the United States. But what you might not know is that it's not only affecting adults, but our fellow students, ending their lives and any hope for a bright future. There are many ways to prevent this, like open communication by educating the youth about the dangers of taking pills that are not prescribed by their own doctors. Another way we can be of help is by monitoring their social media. By doing this, parents will be able to know whether or not their child is being offered or asking for drugs since the online environment pro provides a space for people to sell substances to minors. Lastly, we can offer resources that can save their lives with the phone numbers of rehabilitation centers. Christmas is just around the corner, so make sure you get your Christmas lights because they'll be flying off the shelves when December rolls in. Speaking of December, winter break starts on December 18th, so make sure you maintain good grades until then. The 70th annual snowball is here again. It will take place on Saturday, December 2nd from 8 to 11.59 p.m on the Oregon State Fairgrounds. Make sure to buy your $30 ticket online or a $35 ticket at the door. Don't forget your student or state-issued ID to enter. The theme is winter enchantment. Remember to have fun and enjoy the night. It's time for sports. Hello everybody, I'm your host Luis Rodriguez and today I'll be covering sports. First, let's dive into our swim team, which will have their first meet today at Croc Center starting at 6.30. Now shifting to basketball, boys varsity played at a jamboree at Sherwood High School. Last night and tonight they will start the season at home against McMinnville. As for the girls varsity team, they played in a jamboree last night at Forest Grove High School. Their first game will be tomorrow night at Woodburn. As for the wrestlers, they begin their season on December 11th. This has been Luis with sports. Now back to you. Thanks Luis. That's all for our news today. Join us next week for Saxon TV.